Welcome back, music makers. I hope you guys are uh, out there trying to make some money and um, paying your bills, all that good stuff. Uh, I want to do a little bit of an update, and I just kind of wanted to do a, uh, not really a gear uh, uh, review, but just something that uh, just kind of uh, let get, filling you in on what I'm doing right now. Um, the uh, uh, I decided to uh, quit my solo career. <laughs> Not. No. Uh, uh, seriously, uh, it's bad out there. Uh, my fellow solo artists, music makers, uh, it's tough out there. I just got the word the other day. Now I've got, this weekend I actually have off. Um, uh, but I did make some leeway. I, I think I mentioned on this channel that um, I kind of miss doing the band thing. So I kind of want to see, dip my foot back into it and see how it goes. I didn't really want to be the one to kind of put it together and be the not the leader or the, the spokesman or they, I guess the leader of the band, but I didn't really want to go that route, but damn it, man. It's just like, uh, I just kind of wanted to maybe slide in on a, an established band, learn their tunes and, but you know, uh, it is what it is. Um, so <laughs> I just wish I could slide in on a situation where I'm not the leader because, you know, uh, once you start doing that, uh, you know, kind of burning the candle at both ends or, you know, uh, playing on both sides of the coin as a solo artist and a uh, band musician, you know, playing in a band. So anyways, but I kind of miss it. So I kind of want to do it. So I, I think I mentioned that I found a drummer, really good guy. He's a pretty amazing uh, drummer, real straight ahead. And, um, you know, just a really talented drummer. Uh, matter of fact, he plays to a click track. Uh, yeah, he, uh, with this big band, there's, a, a, he's with a cover band, another cover band. And they're out in Simi Valley. And of course we're in inland here, uh, in the San Bernardino mountains. So, um, he has to travel. He's kind of getting burned out traveling with this band playing, you know, out in Simi Valley and, you know, out there in the valley and uh, close to the coast, you know, a little bit. But he's he does a lot of driving around anyway. He's kind of used to it. You know, he's got a um, um, of uh, landscaping. He's got a landscaping business pretty and, and he's got contracts all over the state. So he's like big time. He's he's got he's got a he's got awesome gear he's got a couple of uh, uh drum sets that are um uh dw got a, i think he's got like two or three dw sets uh, he's yeah he's got a wonderful pa uh great pa system so he backs this band up but he's kind of tired of doing all the work for these guys and uh i think they had a not a falling out but i think the guitar player maybe might have left or something like that i'm not really sure but Anyway, so he's seen my solo thing that I've done, and uh, he just kind of brought it up. He goes, hey, man, you ever want to get together and jam? I said, like, yeah, I'm open to that, absolutely. I wouldn't mind starting like a little blues, not really a blues, but bluesy type of band, you know, and do some covers and some originals and stuff like that. So anyway, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to, uh, but, uh, so I found this bass player. I had trouble finding a bass player up here. So, uh, this guy is a great guy and, um, he's, uh, he's been through a lot. Um, he's, uh, 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 I'm not going to get into details, but he's been through a lot and he's, 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 uh, uh he's suffered some loss too, as I have. And so, yeah, he's a really good guy. Low key. I went to play with him yesterday because I did, I wanted to get together with this guy and, and just me and him, me on guitar and him on the bass and just kind of go through my song list and stuff I could take out and with, uh, that I would do with the band. Uh, cause I got a lot of upbeat songs in there and stuff. But anyway, so, uh, I sat down and played with him and, um, He's just a, a, a gentle, soft-spoken kind of guy. He's not real intense. No ego. 
And I really like it. And so, but I was really concerned with his skills. But then when I went into his house, <laughs> he had some <clears throat> great gear. <clears throat> Matter of fact, he had a, a, a Telecaster. I asked if he wanted to sell, <laughs> even though I ain't got no money. But he had a Tele. It was, um, he said it was a 70s Tele. So, uh, and I, I could be wrong, but maybe you guys know. You're going to let me know in the comments. Uh, you know, the ABC uh, Tellies are the uh, offenders. Um, I know all the strats came, you know, a certain year, I think in 70 or 71, they came with that bullet truss rod that I have on both of my strats. And, uh, yeah, so I didn't know. Maybe you guys know, did they put a bullet truss rod in the tellies in the 70s? I don't know. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've ever seen a telly with a bullet truss rod. I don't know. Maybe maybe somebody out there knows. Uh, but he says it's 70s. And I was, little, I was just kind of like throwing. I'm going, oh, because I was expecting to see them. But it's got a hole in the top, you know, to adjust a truss rod with a, with a um, uh, Allen wrench. But anyway, <clears throat> so <clears throat> he uh, was, ended up being a really groovy guy. Just a really cool kickback guy. He's got some history. And he's like a couple years younger than me. <clears throat> but um anyways so uh we went through some songs and he likes to chat chit chat a little bit but i kind of wanted to get into some songs i just want to see a style of playing doesn't play with a pick plays with a thumb he's got he's got this custom made bass i don't know what it is but it's it's pretty custom badass bass full scale and then he also has a rickenbacker bass so yeah, he's got great gear. He's got um, an Ampeg, the big giant monster Ampeg. I forgot what model it is, but it's the big boy. Anyway, so yeah, he's got good gear. And um, so, uh, but he'd been playing guitar a lot. So I go, okay, cool. Uh, <clears throat> so um, he got on his bass and he sat on his bed. We were just in his room and, <clears throat> and I went through the thing and I could tell uh, when I showed him the chords of the song, you know, he pretty much knew, and he goes, but you know, he pretty much knew the song, but not, uh, not very well, but he knew it, but I just wanted to get him playing to see how his style and see how he played and make sure how his timing and stuff was. And sure enough, man, he was hitting, um, uh, he was hitting right on the one, right on the four, right on the five. I mean, he was just right there in the pocket. And I brought the beat buddy with me. So I wanted us to keep in timing. So, you know, uh, because it's basically this drummer that I have, this, that, that I have, um, he is basically like a beat buddy. <laughs> I mean, he, cause he plays to a click track. You tell him what the BPM is and he puts it on there and he plays right in there in a perfect pocket. And yeah, it's pretty crazy. I've never, I've actually never encountered a, a bass. Most of the drummers that I have played with <clears throat> have a hard uh, time with a click track. Um, uh, and the only time I really saw them use a click track, uh, drummers that I've worked with have been uh, uh, in a studio, you know, not a live thing. But I know a lot of people do use them live. I just never played with anybody that used a, a live click track. But anyway, so um yeah i really had a good feeling about him like i said he's got some history he's got uh, he's suffered some loss uh, basically his his wife uh, passed away over a year ago she got staff and it got an infection and it it yeah it uh and he lost his wife so he kind of fell apart he didn't get involved with drugs or anything like that he doesn't really seem that guy he drinks a little beer um uh, but you know, uh, he's like a Harley mechanic and a boat mechanic and even a car auto mechanic too. So he's got a lot of trades. Um, uh, he's a fabricator, he welds, so he, and he's got a nice little house. And so, yeah, he's doing all right, but he has to get out and work. But I just, I, I, I asked him, I said, do you, you know, cause when you, when you audition people or you're checking people out that might want to be involved with your project, a lot of things you have to check for you know you want to check um their availability uh can they commit and rehearse once a week 
Um, are they going to have any problems with evening shows? Uh, you know, because some of the once you play in a band, yeah, I mean, you can get day gigs sometimes, but for the most part, they're late night shows, you know, when you do when you have a band. Um, yeah, so there's some things you have to, and uh, he kind of filled in all the blanks, he uh, all he, he checked off all the marks, and um, uh, uh, I think he's good. Now, I'm still filling him out, so. Um, I sent him a list last night of my songs, uh, that we would go over all together at, because we went to, I went to his house over here in Fonskin. My, the drummer, uh, he lives across on the other side of the lake on the South shore of the lake. And he's got a nice house. He's got a great business, uh, you know, uh, that's obviously doing good. And, uh, uh, so yeah, um, I told him, dude, I sent him a, a text last night. I said, dude, we're uh, ready to jump in the studio and let's, uh, let's uh, <clears throat> cut our teeth a little bit and see how it feels, you know, still no major commitment yet, but anyway, so, uh, we'll see what happens. That's what's going on with me. And then I don't know if I mentioned this in my other blog, there's a guy that he does an open mic over there, a sweet couple that does this, uh, that, um, uh, that hosts this open mic every Wednesday. But now they're having music on Wednesday. They're hosting it all the nights, but they have an open mic. They have, a, you know, where people come in and play. And um, yeah, but it's a little brewery. And this piece of shit that owns this brewery is putting in a automatic 18% tip. Now, I don't know if you guys are experienced any of this stuff. I actually, me and Kim had saw this before somewhere. I don't know if we, I think, I'm not sure if it was a restaurant we ate at or somebody had told us about it. Yeah, this restaurant, they, yeah, you don't, uh, yeah, they're taking, so they're taking away for the customer. If they get bad service, they still got to pay 18%. This is making me sick. I mean, I can't believe this Nimrod is doing this. And his place is not even that big. It's really small. I actually, when we first got in from up in Crescent City and came down here and moved our trailers, that was one of the first places I went to to check to see if I get a gig. And then they told me, yeah, it's $80, but you have to do, you know, like two or three hours of music. I go, oh, yeah, about that. So that's what's going on there. Uh, yeah, things are tough right now. But anyway, so, anyway, so, yeah, that's what's going on, man. Think places are closing down up here. Um, yeah, I just talked to, uh, you know, one of my comrades, uh, the, he, he's, uh, he was, uh, uh, Pe uh, Duke and Peg. He ended up getting the rug pulled out underneath him at the Pines, as I did. And that place is down. So, yeah. So, there's only one place to play this winter up here. So, that's why I'm booking down the hill. And I've got a booking at that, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, and it only takes 35 minutes to get from the, ba the back end up here uh, to get down into Apple Valley. But there's a couple, some bars and some restaurants down there that can probably get some work. And, yeah, I'll have to drive a little bit going up and down the hill. It's going to cost in gas. Yeah, you guys. Um, so, yeah, just want to share that with you. Uh, what else? I think that's it. So, listen, um, I'll think of a good subject next week. If you guys have any questions on, on topics that you'd like to talk about, because I think what I'm going to start doing is repeating uh, what I did when I started this thing four years ago. So, I'm going to repeat some of the stuff and try to get a little more detail on some of that stuff and yeah so because i i just anybody that's interested in doing this i want to share it because i want you guys to be prepared what to expect and um you know it's it's a fun business being a solo artist it's it's so rewarding you know in the heart you know and the money can be good at times so yeah that's about it. So you guys keep rocking in the free world while we're free. And um, uh, make sure you vote for uh, that dude in the red hat and the red hair. November, please.
please, please get this fugazi out of office right now. Anyway, so, um, uh, that's it. Ciao for now, you guys. Keep on rocking, like I said, and soothing the souls. And I'll talk to you uh, next week. All right, ciao for now.